Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, I have a few items to show you that I'm going to add to my collection and a few items for yard decor for Halloween, all purchased from Spirit Halloween. Well, it's that time of year we have to say goodbye to summer and hello to fall. I actually like the fall weather. I like to wear a sweatshirt with shorts. The mornings are chilly, so you have to wear a sweatshirt, but you don't want to let go of summer, so you still wear shorts. I love that time of the year. I love driving and seeing the leaves changing color. Not as I'm driving, but you get to see the leaves as they change color like daily. I mean, you, you see all the cool bright colors in New England, New Hampshire specifically. I love this time of year driving past and driving home from work and seeing some of these houses already started decorating for Halloween, which... For me, it's one of my favorite holidays of the year. Obviously, I love Christmas, but Halloween, horror, people decorating their houses and their yards, super fun. And I love people as they have pretty cool themes. And this year, my daughter and I decided to do the theme of A Nightmare Before Christmas because, A, we can still decorate for Halloween, but maybe bring it on a little bit for Christmas too. So we'll add... A little bit of the Christmas element from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, what do you say? Well, I'm going to show you a few items that I picked up for my collection and a few items that I will add to my outdoor display. So what do you say? Let's do this. Okay, the first item I have here to add to my collection is... The pumpkin from Halloween 2. This is from the movie poster. This is super cool. I love it. It says Halloween 2 on the back. The detail is fantastic. The skull of the pumpkin. I love this thing. Is uh, When I found out that they had this at Spirit Halloween, I had to rush to find it. The first time I went to Spirit Halloween, they didn't have it. So I thought I was going to have to find it online. But unfortunately, they're sold out online. Luckily, I went back later on in the month, and Spirit Halloween had one left. I managed to pick it up. It looks super cool. It does light up. Look at that. That is pretty fun. So I'm going to add this to my permanent collection. This isn't going to be a seasonal item. I am going to display it year-round. I love it. It is made out of poly resin. Great detail. But there you go. Halloween 2 Pumpkin from Spirit Halloween. Pretty awesome. Okay, the next item we have here is the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. Welcome, horror hooligans. This is your shiver chef. It's disgusting what people will do to stay young. What's the matter with you? You want to keep that 90 pound corpse for the rest of your death? Keep pumping. Well, I tell the story. Tonight's story is about an old man who finds a new wrinkle in the fountain of youth. A twisted tale that we call the switch. This thing is super cool. This was uh, a series on HBO back in 1989 it started. Um, I'm not sure how many years or how many seasons it went up to, but I used to watch it all the time. Tales from the Crypt, definitely some great, great episodes. So if you haven't seen Tales from the Crypt, definitely check it out. But this is the Crypt Keeper. Now, this bust has amazing detail on it. Um, there is writing in the book, so you can actually probably read that. I bet it, it actually makes sense. It's not just scribbled. There's actually some words in there. That is pretty cool. Great detail again. I love this thing. Tales from the Crypt. And did you know they actually had a cartoon series called Tales from the Crypt Keeper? From the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> now I actually have one of the figures. This is the Crypt Keeper. And this was mine back in the day. I'm not sure what year this came out. Probably early 90s. Um, I don't think they made a cartoon right after the series. So it probably wasn't 89. It must have been in the 90s. But this is Frankenstein from the, uh, the action figure line. And they had a bunch of other figures. I do want to collect all of them. And they're pretty inexpensive. I think you can get carded figures for like 
anywhere between $25 to $40 on card. But yes, Tales from the Crypt figures there and the Crypt Keeper bust. Super cool to add this one to my permanent display collection. I love it. Okay, the first item I'm going to show you for my outdoor display is this tombstone from Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is Zero's tombstone. This thing is pretty cool. I love it. It has a lot of great detail on it. And it also lights up and makes sounds. It does light up. And let's see if we can get some sound going on. It's motion sensitive, I do believe. I'm not exactly sure if the batteries are fully charged up. Probably not. But, of course, it's not going to work as soon as you... So if I hit the button, the light goes on and off. But that's just a try me. Let's see if we can get some dog bark in action. I know it... it... Pretty cool. So you do get some barking. The lights do go on. And that's pretty fun. So we're going to shut that off for now. But you can't have Zero's tombstone without Zero. So I also picked up Zero. And we're going to have him floating next to the tombstone. I think this is pretty cool. And it's going to be a great addition to my outdoor display for Halloween. I love it. All right, last but certainly not least, this is going to be the centerpiece for my outdoor display from A Nightmare Before Christmas. This is called the Groundbreaking Worm. This is actually the worm that they gave as a present Christmas time. Jack gave as a present to one of the kids, and the, the worm started eating the presents, and I believe it started eating the tree. But I think this is going to be a great display for a centerpiece for outside, and this is actually was the reason why we started. We decided to go with A Nightmare Before Christmas because we saw this item, and we were like, yeah, we got to go with A Nightmare Before Christmas. But anyways, let's open this up, and I'll show you what's inside. All right, you ready? Here we go. Man, this thing is so cool. Look at the head. Yeah, this thing is crazy cool. And massive, so it's three sections, and you place it in the yard in different spots so it looks like it's coming out of the ground. And there's actually a spot in the mouth where you can stick this tree and have it so it looks like it's eating the tree. And also, it has the base of the tree that you can put on that tree. And it, it looks awesome. Uh, this thing is super cool. This is just the head. Now check out the middle piece. Look at this. That is cool. So this is the middle piece like it's already eaten one of the presents. So you, again, you stick this in the ground separated from the head. So it, it can take up a good portion of the yard. Looks like it's going through the whole yard. And... I love that. That is super fun. And here is, let me move this aside. It's a little uh, a little much for this small, small room in here. This is definitely meant for outside. And here's the tail, and the tail also has a small present inside. This thing is going to be fun. Obviously, we have, I have a jack. I still have to pick up a Sally. We, I have lock, stock, and barrel coming. I do have some masks. I have some other items that are going to go along with it. We have a blow up oogie boogie we're going to put in the yard. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, hopefully my daughter will come home early October. We'll both set it up together. Who knows, maybe my son will come home around that time for a short visit over the weekend and help us decorate for Halloween because Halloween at my house for the years, it's definitely been pretty fun. I've pretty much gone out and went all out displaying different things each year, some fun things, some uh, projections. Hold your tongues. The spirits are answering. Dark tidings present themselves. Very dark for you, I'm afraid. And the moon is full and the sky is clear. The pumpkins rise up just once a year. From hollow ground we can be found. The children like us big and round. Get 
definitely had some fun Halloween uh, setups in this yard. Give us eyes and mouth and a nose, but we can't move for a lack of toes. I thought for head we have a hand. And this year, I think it's going to be pretty fun also. And again, we can set this up for Halloween and for Christmas too. We can have a Jack in the Santa suit. We're going to put Santa Claus in a bag like in the movie. Trick or treat! Uh -huh. yeah. Not sure if my wife is going to allow us to decorate for Christmas this way. So maybe we'll have to do it towards closer to Halloween so at the beginning of Halloween we'll have it set up one theme and then towards the end maybe we'll put Jack in a Santa suit but I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did smash that like button subscribe to the channel do all that good stuff remember we are all geek strong take care everyone